Hey guys, Brian Delivery J the Goods here. I'm returning to you one last time tonight for another album review. And this is for the new Cage the Elephant Social Cues album review. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to and let you know what I thought of this record. So let's dive into this review. Now, I stopped listening to this band after their first debut album with No Rest for the Wicked and In One Ear, which I thought In One Year, In One Year, Ear was my favorite uh, song by them. I almost said year. <laughs> it almost sounded like I said year, but I'm slurring my words a little bit. <clears throat> but overall, this new record from them is average um most of the songs that i've listened to got like four out of fives 4.5 out of fives for a few of them and the final track was an actual success it was a really good one i thought goodbye was a great closer to end the record Broken Boy was actually not a bad song to open the record, but it, it just felt repetitive in some ways and kind of a little annoying at the same time. But the least favorite songs on here have got to be Dance Dance and Black Madonna. That, those are my least favorite songs that I just couldn't stand. Uh, Dance Dance just didn't have any rhythm to it. It's... It was just a... kind of a stupid song, to be frank. Uh, Black Madonna just... The lead singer's voice, you may have to remind me in the comments below who the lead singer is, because... I don't really follow Cage the Elephant that much. I've stopped listening to them after their album with No Rest for the Wicked song and all that. Because that's when I really liked them. Because they were making some good music. Then now they're just mainstream and some songs on this album work. But some songs on here don't. Well, two songs, to be frank. Uh, the only two songs to really watch out for are Black Madonna and Dance Dance. Those two songs just... No. In my opinion, I just didn't like them. Black Madonna was okay, but it wasn't all... Great. It, the lead singer's voice in it got very high-pitched and very irritating to listen to. Listen through, mostly. And it just bugged me. Uh, and then in Dance Dance, he just sings dance, dance, and then another dance again that he says in, or sings or whatever when he's bringing out the chorus of the song and it just feels off it's just so off and it's kind of disappointing but at the same time it just it wasn't the song for me neither was black madonna i actually did enjoy night running with beck uh that was actually not a bad song uh, it's getting a 4.5 out of 5, but it's not a bad song. It's kind of entertaining. It's got a catchy melody. Uh, the hook in there is pretty good. And it this is a song that most fans will actually like. Ready to Let Go, the video was just strange. But the song itself was decent. It wasn't fairly good, but it was decent. 
And then you have House of Glass, the next single, which is not bad. It has a mellow verse, and then it picks up a little bit in the... What is it? The chorus starts to catch up a little bit with its catchy melody a little bit. Uh, Love's the Only Way was kind of stale and not very exciting to listen through, but there's a couple skippable songs in this record. Um, for most fans that are Cage the Elephant fans, they may have some problems with this record. Um, mainly production-wise is the problem, and how the, each song is trying to connect. It just... It flows along quite slif swiftly a little bit, but it just doesn't s interest me with some songs on here. But, uh, Love's the Only Way was not a bad track. Uh, then you have War, The War is Over, and that starts to pick up a little bit and bring the album a little back to life because Love's the Only Way was a very mellow track and it just something felt off about that track I don't know I might have to hear it again but it just this album was plain mellow and somewhat boring in a way but uh, what I'm becoming was not a bad track. I know I keep saying not a bad track for most of these songs I'm covering and reviewing each song while I'm reviewing this album. And it's plain and simple. There's four out of five tracks mainly for most of these songs. And... A couple 4.5 out of 5 songs and 3.5 out of 5 for one song and 3 out of 5 for another and then you have goodbye which is the final track that is really good so overall I think this record has its mixed uh, feelings there there's like mixed good and bad songs on here couple skippable tracks but some you can listen through and be like oh it's all right but out of 10 i'm gonna give this record an average rating of a 7.5 out of 10 because it's a suitable record and it's something i can come back to and listen to again and be like uh this album was average but comment below let me know what you guys thought of the new cage the elephant social cues album if you've heard it and if you like this review comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel i will be returning to you saturday for the madonna new track uh, Medean or something like that. Uh, I heard the song sucked and I listened to it and I'll give you my opinion when I do the review for it. But thank you for watching this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video.